here at the Rock Bridge Rainbow Trout Ranch, and today I am learning how to fly fish, but first I have to put on these waders. Rockbridge is located in southeast Missouri. We are 85 miles southeast of Springfield. My grandparents moved here in 1945, uh, started the resort in 1954, and we've been raising trout and lodging and a restaurant ever since. We raise between 250 to 400,000 fish a year. We raise them predominantly to put in the stream at two pounds for families to come and stay and catch their fish. We also supply certain restaurants. We smoke our trout and we are licensed to ship it around the world. So when did you start fishing? Oh man, I was probably eight or nine, you know, just going out to the, the creeks or the lake with the family. And you grew up in this area? Yes ma'am. Yeah. And that's what kind of keeps you here, is just the love of nature? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's nice and quiet. The fish that you're raising, that you're breeding, do you use that to stock kind of yes. the fishing areas for yes. your guests? Uh -huh. From egg to a nice pound and three quarters to two pound fish, it takes about a year and a half to two years time. And that's what I love about where we are right now is that we are just at a hotel along the river. I mean, you really are a trout ranch. I oh, mean, yes, you're raising yes. the fish and you are helping to facilitate people coming here for a fishing weekend, like a vacation. And is it true that when you catch the fish, you'll kind of help everybody clean them and then you stick them in the freezer until people are ready to go? Stick them in the freezer. Uh, we, we package them up and then until people are ready to go home. So this is essentially my first time fly fishing. I'm glad that you have taught many novices before. You have to take it easy on me. Uh, this is our fly line. So the fly line and the rod, that's what's gonna help us cast. And I got you a nice purple one. This is called a prince nymph. So a nymph, I'm assuming a baby fly, a tiny fly. Mm -hmm. And so it's meant to mimic. Just that. mimic some of the bugs in the water that the trout are, are feeding on. I'm gonna show you how to do a roll cast. Okay. So I'm just gonna bring the rod straight up about 12, one o'clock, and then all we're doing is just using mostly wrist, and we're just gonna lay that right out there. Pull it up slow, let the line settle, and take the rod tip all the way down to the water. Oh, I see. And that's how you kind of get it further and further out. Just getting that timing down. There you go. Good job. Nice. I think it's time to go fishing. So how many people are you teaching in a season? I would say I teach anywhere from 150 to 200 people a year. Oh, wow. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at him. Strong. <laughs> it's a pretty good sized fish. I mean, look at the tension that he's got on that. Rod. This is a nice size one. This is a big male. So you don't like yank it and then just fight with it? No. On a fly rod, it's all about taking your time and wearing the fish out. Oh, look at that fish. That's a big one. It's huge. I really didn't realize how elegant fly fishing is and how much patience it really does require, not just in casting the line properly, but the way that once you actually kind of hook the fish, you just have to very patiently and gently guide them toward you. It's an art. Yeah, and a sport. That was fun. Okay, so we're up from the creek, and now I'm going to learn how to gut and clean these fish. 
Okay, so you're going to want to put your thumb in there like that, just up through the gill. Okay. okay. Now there's a soft spot here on each side of the jaw. So we're going to push the knife through there. Uh-huh. And we're just going to come straight up. Just like that. Okay. We'll start here and just come right up the belly. And we're just going to break each side. Okay. Using your thumb, you're going to go right there and just wrap your hand around the back. And that's it. You make it look easy. Yep. And this one's a lot bigger. That is bigger. That's going to be a little harder. <laughs> Remember, your thumb's behind there. Don't stab my thumb. Don't stab your thumb. Don't stab your thumb. Is that all right? Perfect. All right. There you go. Clean fish. Okay, so now you are going to fillet the We're fish. We're going to fillet the fish. We're going to take the meat off and take all the bones out. So I'm going to take my knife, start here right behind the head, mm -hmm. and just push down. You'll feel the backbone. You don't okay. want to cut through that. Now I'm just going to take the tip of the knife and come down the back. Oh, you've done this a few times. Uh, a lot. So once I get to this back fin, I'm going to push the knife all the way through and follow the backbone all the way down the tail. Now I'm going to open this up. There's a row of bones right here, so we're going to cut through that. I'm trying to stay on top of the ribs. We want to leave all those in there. And now once I get there, I can just push down. Look at that. That's perfect. I'm going to flip this over to the other side. Trout have a row of bones right here. We call them pin bones. We're going to want to go ahead and take those out. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make a cut along each side. It's going to pull right out. Oh, wow. Yeah. There is an absolute art to this. That's incredible. Jared, that's really fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, just being able to watch you with your love of fishing and pulling those fish in and just the way that you just so beautifully fillet them, it's clear that you just really love what you're doing. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So when people come down, you're actually going to be able to take them out and teach them how to fish. Yes, we take them out and catch fish and bring them up here. We clean them, package them. Cleaned by an expert. That was cool. Thank you. I think we're going to meet up with Wanda next, and she's going to teach us how to cook these things. So I'm standing here with Wanda. Wanda, you've been in the kitchen here, you said? About 20. 20 years. 20 years. 20 years. And so you've been cooking trout for a long time. Yes. Well, so we just came out of the restaurant cleaning and filleting with Jared, but you're gonna show us how to cook a whole trout, which I really love this kind of a presentation because it's kind of dramatic, mm -hmm. you know, when you have the whole fish coming to the table, but yeah. it's deceptively easy to cook this way. It looks yes. very complicated. Yes, it's very easy. All right, so show me what you're gonna do. You're gonna spray your pan really well. Mm -hmm. Put your fish over here. Okay. We're gonna take the salt and sprinkle some in your cavity. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the butter and then lemon juice. And then I like to just push it all around in there a little bit, make sure it's coated the meat good. And then you're going to take some of your stuffing and you're going to stuff your cavity. And you want it to be nice and thick. Oh, so you do want it to be thick? Oh, yeah. You want it like this. Oh, wow. You want it to be like a pregnant fish. <laughs> all right, so now we've got the lemon. Uh huh. Lemon, lime, and basil. So you're going to really put this on thick. There you go. Perfect. Just like that. All right and then they go in the oven for 45 minutes. What temp for the oven? About 350. So just mid-range? Mm -hmm. Mid-range. This is what it looks like when it's done. That's gorgeous. I mean, look at how the skin is all crispy and all of that wonderful stuffing has kind of steamed the fish from the inside. I think we should dig in. It's just sweet and tender, and it has just a wonderful, mild flavor and just flaky. That's delicious. It's very good. The trout is raised here. It's, you bring people here to learn how to fish, to have fishing weekends. And then in the restaurant, you really specialize in serving. It's kind of like this 360 experience of trout in Missouri. Yeah. That's cool. We do a lot of trout. <laughs> yes, you do. We do some other trout. stuff too, but we do a lot of trout. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate You're it. You're welcome.